Okay, in this video I'm just going to show you how to tie a, basically a cascade, so um, this is a size 8 and it's a mustard double, so catching a length of silver tinsel in oval and it's fine and wind a tag on, do 3 turns or 4 turns of your silver oval, tie down your waist piece and trim it off, put a wee bit of wax in your thread. Now for the tail it's bucktail in yellow and orange. Um, I have pre-mixed these here just for speed so just take a wee pinch of yellow and a pinch of orange and sort of stack them line them through your fingertips um, and at the same time you're mixing the two colours together so that's the what you're left with the blend of two, the two of them so this is a tail in around I like nearly twice the hook shank so I'll tie that in I said nearly twice the length of the hook don't like too much longer than that and get wrapped up. So just make sure right, the tail's sitting nicely before you trim anything. Um, and the next bit is two strands of crystal flash. Um, this is just micro crystal flash and it is in pearl. So just two strands of crystal flash. I tie them in over the top. Just about the same length as the tail or slightly shorter. At this point continue down towards the, the hook catching the, the waist ends in and when you get to two thirds of the way down trim away your crystal flash and your bucktail. On the way back up I'm going to catch in a length of silver wire I'm just going to use this for the rib because it will protect the rear half of the tinsel body. So wind it tight up against the tag and at this point I'm going to take a length of its uni uh, miler and it's gold and silver. Gold one side, silver on the other. So I'm going to tie it in with the gold side facing me so whenever I wind it, it has the silver side shown out. So I cut a wee angle into the where you're going to tie it in and then run a dab of super glue over the back half of the body and get your first turn nice and tight and snug up against the tag and then continue up the body to about the halfway point or just shy and take over a turn or two of securing thread to lock the tinsel in, trim away the waist piece and at this point take a length of black floss. This is just uni floss and black or you can use wool or danvils whatever you like and tie it in and I just come slightly over the tinsel body again. just going to wax my thread again here. At this point just open your floss out and wind it towards the towards the, the hook. Now leave yourself a bit of room at the, the head here because you don't want it creeping out over the top of the, the top of the eye so I'm going to stop well short. You've a wing to go in, two hackles and then you have to change the colour of the thread at the head of the fly so I'm going to give myself that's a size 8 and I've probably left a good 3mm take your first turn of wire at the very back up against the tag and it will protect the rear of the tinsel body and a couple of turns on the tinsel body itself and keep it even on the way up and there's 3 turns 3 turns on the tinsel and 3 turns on the the black floss so that's you can open them out more if you want less turns or if 
you want more turns then close them up a bit. Um, for the wing of this, I've been using this recently on all my black winged flies. Um, it's US Opossum and it's from Frankensnelda. It's a very, very nice material because it's it's springy. There's a lot of uh, under fur in it as well. I just cut it from the skin and keep the under fur, most of the under fur in it. Just stack the tip or line the tips up by hand and see what length of wing you want. If I set the wing on I like it to tips of the wing to be just by the hook bend and no more so I'll measure that up and then I'll trim away trim it square at the end and wax the thread getting ready to tie this wing in so just make sure you've cut the ends nice and square like that I'm going to set the wing on top and take a loose turn or two over it and just let the weight of the bobbin hang uh, don't pull at the wing at this stage because I say it's only held in with a couple of less turns so just check you're happy with where the wing is and the length of it and if you are then you can go ahead and tighten up put 10 or 12 lock and turns in and then your wings secure um, Next thing up is the hackles. So, first up is a yellow, and this is just going to be a Chinese, Chinese cock hackle. Pull it away from the, the, the skin and tie it in by the tip. Take it right up to the back of where your thread is, up against the wing. And at this point, you can wax your thread again. Gives you some grip when you're catching the feather in. I'm just going to introduce a fold with the back of the scissors to get me started. And at this point, double the fibres back. Take your first turn tight against the wing. Get it sitting where you want it. So your first turn's tight against the wing and your second turn is right in front of that. And at that point, I'm going to tie it off because you have a couple of turns of orange to go on to. So take three or four turns, and when you're happy it's secure, you can go ahead and trim your trim the end off. Now this thread's waxed, so it means you're tying on a waxed bed of thread every time which keeps everything tight. Front hackle is orange. Again a Chinese cock hackle. And just pull it away from the skin as well and reveal the tip of the feather, open it out and tie it in by the tip. Keeping it nice and tight and secure. Trim away the tip or if you're not confident you can fold it back. If you're afraid it will pull out. Start the fold of the back of the scissors again and I'm just going to wind one turn tight up against where the yellow stopped and then the next turn right in front of it. And I'm going to tie it off just as it comes under the just as it comes under the hook shank on my side, keep the tens keep a bit of tension on it and get a few good securing turns in. If you can or if you want, you can double it back on itself. And that way it's a good uh, it's quite secure. So I'm just gonna Take a couple of turns back and straighten and whip finish. Now the head in this can be red or black. I'm going to stay with the black. So you can vary it. You can use orange as well. But 
this is black uni thread. I'm just going to twist it up to tighten it and start it just at the front to where the white thread finished. So once you get it all on started, continue and touch and turns till you get all the white covered. Trim the tag of the black tag end away. Just keep going until you're happy you've covered everything. Just be careful because the uni thread can slip a bit um, if it opens out, especially, so you can tighten it up a bit. Uh, straight in and whip finish, three or four turn whip finish, and then tighten it up. Um, that is pretty much the finished fly. So that is it's just a, a pretty standard cascade. So you can tie it in a green butt or say vary the colour of the head. That's it there. Thanks for watching again.